I'm sweating. I have a special guest. Um, yes, it's the banana. Can I? Then you realize why do we do what we do? Assalamu alaikum. We're back. Iftars around the world, and this time we're doing Somalia. I'm joined with the lovely Sheikh Abdinur Wali, all the way from Melbourne. Sheikh, how are you going? Very good, thank you. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm doing well. We're in this blessed month of Ramadan. And I have to say, a lot of people may not know this about Somalia or Africa in general. To my knowledge, but correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was the Prophet who, you know, before he sent his companions to Medina, it was actually towards East Africa. Would I be correct? Absolutely. Uh, the Prophet وسلم, sent the, the first immigration or the first hijrah was to that part of the world in East Africa, in mm. Abyssinia, they called it, or Al Habasha at the time. Mm. So, yes, we, um, we pride ourselves to say that Islam came to us before it actually came to Medina. Medina, subhanAllah. Yeah. I bet you guys did not know that. Sheikh, okay, where do we begin? I think we will start with the Sambusa. Start with Sambusa, <laughs> Bismillah, after you, Sheikh. <laughs> so, mashallah, we, we have the Sambusa. Generally for Ramadan, mm -hmm. is there a, the householders don't make the shops you can buy, uh -huh. but householders generally have sambusa, sambusa yeah. only for iftar. Bismillah. Mm. That was very nice. Is, I think this is a meat filling, mm. if I'm not wrong. Mm. So, Maris generally do only meat fillings. Mm -hmm. mm. Tuna is my favorite. Tuna. Mm. It's interesting. I've never heard of uh, tuna sambusa. <laughs> yeah, tuna sambusa. I'm willing is. to try, I'm, I would be willing to try mm. that. The next one. Okay, so how bur. do you pronounce this, Jeff? They call it bur. Bur. But when we say bur, it's a, it's a general term that tells you it's made of falawa. This one called also mandazi. Mandazi. It's also called burkandi. Burkandi. If you look at it, it's actually air in there, and they open it. And when they open this, they put the sambusa in there and eat with the sambusa. Wow, that's like a double filling of food. <laughs> <laughs> so the pocket, within so the, pocket, the pocket, he input the, the sambusa they, they put in the, the pocket. Sambusa in there, and then they eat those because this is a little bit sweet. It's a sweet dish. And this is sour. And it's sour. So put the sour and the sweet together. That's very common in Somali culture. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> it's very fluffy. Yeah, there's a lot of texture behind it. Yeah. This is like the Somali edition of Krispy Kremes. <laughs> <laughs> sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but you know, there's an old saying that I've heard. They said, if Algeria is the land of the martyrs, then Somalia is the land of the Hufat. I think historically and in general in the whole Muslim world, we used to have this tablet is where we record, and I think it's, it's a common practice in, in the whole of Africa. So yes, absolutely, the Somalis, they use that, you know, that tablet. You go there and find your own tree, and you have to choose the type of tree you make the, the tablet out of it. And the, the pen they use is made of different types of trees mm -hmm. and, and, and plants. They wake up three o'clock in the morning and, the, and they lit the fire and they read the Quran. So it is, it is uh, it's a tradition. It's a very natural process from what I understand. It's all very natural from the wood, from nature, and it really engraves it into your memory. This, so. this dish that we're gonna do next has been calling me for a long time and this, is traditional anchero. Somali this, is anchero. this is not Ethiopian anchero. <laughs> this different. is not Ethiopian anchero. This They're is Somali different. anchero. Sheikh, what are they? Is it butter and sugar that's on top of this the, one? This is one, it's a butter and sugar. What's the correct way? Is it like a small thing or it's like that? Yeah, the, the, okay, I'll tell you how do they eat. That's not, that's not the way they eat. Uh -oh. The normal way when you have the butter and sugar is to actually put tea on top of it. Wow. Hot black tea and then make it moisture. Okay, so this is normally for breakfast, this dish. Yeah, this one is for breakfast. When you have the butter and sugar, it's for breakfast. I have to say, Sheikh, this is taking me back to my time in Hargeisa. <laughs> Mashallah. <laughs> they eat with many different things. Sometimes they, they eat the anjera with what they call the liver. The liver? This is what we call it, so, bris and hilib. Bris and hilib. It's the Somali biryani. It's the Somali biryani. This is one. wow. Okay, as a, as a Pakistani now, this yeah. is uh, it's a, it's a biryani. hype to the max. It's a biryani. The best, best. Yeah. green, yeah, the green the, chili, the green chili. Um, so that that's part of it. I have a special guest that's joining us for one path exclusive <laughs> for this dish because I heard if you don't have if you don't have this with this dish, you're not doing it properly. And I don't know how was coming after me saying you're not doing it properly. So I've got a little bit of help. From my dear friend, from yes, it's a banana. Sheikh, walk us through this. So it's a banana 
with rice and meat. So this is unheard of. I've never had this before, so this is the first. It actually tastes it's good. A lot of sweet and sour, I'm, yeah. I'm noticing with a lot of these yes, dishes. Yes, yes, it gives it a bit of balance. Okay, Shay, I'll let you uh, do the honors. Yep, uh, so you, that's what you do, and then that's how do we do it. <laughs> what? Sorry. Wow. You, 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 you don't put your fingers on, on the banana. I'm glad I didn't do that. I would have done it so wrong. <laughs> what you do is, this is what you do. You, you do the bespes and you mix it with it. Mm. How was it, Shay? Try. I don't have to tell you. <laughs> I'm, I'm you, just, bit... you just try. Try, 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 try. Say it together and, and then tell me what do, you, what do you think. Then you realize why do we do what we do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here, here it goes, Bismillah. Wow. That is something to try. I think with the bisbas, it really gives it an extra kick of Absolutely. flavor. Absolutely. And, and it makes you eat more than you normally eat with the bisbas. I'm, I'm tasting this. This is really spicy. Like, hot. It is, it is quite hot. Yeah, it it's is hot. hot. <laughs> I think that's why the banana really complements it quite well. But <laughs> I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but I am sweating. <laughs> so this is this is the hanid, and uh, it is one of the I think traditional uh, Arabic food, but moved to the coast and it's been increased recently and reach the areas that it's never reached before. You can hear everywhere you go, even in the rural area, they talk about the Hanid now. So it is, it, again, it's a, it's a biryani. It's like a biryani. Yeah, but it's with, with, the, with this type of meat. That's what I want to hear. All right, Bismillah, <laughs> let's, let's go for this one. Yeah, and again, this is what you, you use your hands for this one also. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Maybe this, I'm gonna it, do it. I'm it. gonna do the claw. Is yeah, it with the claw, right? Do the claw. Okay, right? I'm gonna do the claw. So yeah, I get so a bit of meat. So you, you, be, you do a bit of meat, then you do this and add to this and... More bass. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna take it. And hopefully no one's salivating over this during their fast, <laughs> as most of us do. Mmm. That is, it seems like it's been cooked for a long time. Sheikh, we have one last thing. And we have, and you cannot have a Somali meal without Somali tea. And dare I say this, dare I say, much love to my Moroccans, much love to my Turkish brothers and sisters. This one's gonna hurt me. <laughs> much love to my Malaysian slash Indonesian community. I love Tatarik, but Somali tea, it really is in my opinion, the best tea you can ever have. So we have our Somali tea over here. And like I said, it's very sweet. So sometimes people say, would you like tea? <laughs> would you like tea with the, with the sugar? <laughs> oh, the sugar with the tea. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, man, that is, that is delicious. What a gift from God this truly is. God bless Masha. all my Somalian brothers and sisters out there. God love you. This is amazing. This is the black Somali tea. This one. Is this they, the strongest one then? There's, this is not the strong. It's not the strongest one. No. And, no, the strong one is the one you have with the milk. And oh. it's not even milk, camel milk. Camel milk? I've heard of camel burgers. I have not heard of cam camel, camel milk. Camel milk. If you want to have a real Somali tea, it's with camel milk. Sheikh, it's been an honor. You know, we're in the time of uh, Ramadan and Alhamdulillah, we're very fortunate to have all this food with us. Any parting advice to those who are watching at home? Alhamdulillah. I think one of the real things we need to keep in mind is that the month of Ramadan is not the month of consumption. And unfortunately, culturally, it is becoming the month of consumption. And it's a month of ibadah, and for the sisters, it's becoming the month of cooking. Alhamdulillah, we need to lose a little bit of kilos, not gain. And that's, um, but so that's the number one. And I think the number two, to make you savings more purposeful. For example, if you, if you stop smoking, yeah. that money you saved from the smoking, put it in a charity. The, the Prophet وسلم, has been narrated from saying sumu, tasihu, fast and then you will get health. The third point is that I would like in terms of food, let's remember there are people who are actually fasting and joining the next day because they didn't have anything to break their fast with. Sheikh Abdinur, it has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us. Let us know in the comments what your favorite Somali dish is and something that you would like to try this Ramadan.